Hi, it's Kelleen Bishop, the Preparedness Pro, and I just wanted to take a quick minute and share with you one of my favorite cooking tools. I really, really like the little butane stoves. Um, I for, for ages I referred this to as a Korean cook stove. Um, in a lot of the nations, especially the Asian nations, their fuel resources are sporadic, and so a lot of them will use little butane stoves. Um, this is one of the few ways where you can actually store enough fuel for a year's supply of cooking. Anyway, so it just usually will come in these little black cases and just pop the stove out like so. And you turn over this for your burner. And then you just insert your can of butane with this little notch pointed up. And this little piece right here just goes right inside that notch, like so. Push this all the way down. That moves the butane can in place. Turn on your stove. There you go. And then adjust the heat accordingly. The better the pan that you use to cook on these, the less fuel that you'll need to use. For example, if you use a really good heavy duty stainless steel and aluminum combination pan, you'll use the fuel much more efficiently and you'll be able to bring your pot to a boil, put a lid on it, cover it up with a towel, turn off your fuel, save that, and your, your ingredients in your pot will continue cooking. So this is just one of the many ways that you can cook inside. You don't have to worry about ventilation when you're cooking such a small amount of fuel at a time. And it's one of the few ways that you can actually comprehend storing enough fuel safely for a year. When I use my pressure cooker, I can cook on just one can of fuel morning, noon, and night, three meals a day because I can just bring my pressure cooker up to full high heat. Then once it gets up to that high heat, I take it off the stove, wrap it in towels, it can continue cooking. I can cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner for two weeks just on one can of butane. And that's not the case if I'm cooking normally outside of a pressure cooker scenario. But my point is, is there are ways to get this to last longer and to cook inside without worrying about the fumes, worrying about the smoke signals that you might send to the rest of the neighborhood saying, hey, we've got lots of food. Um, one other thing too, is this is actually one of the more affordable options that you can use to cook indoors. When we first purchased these we did so at a trade show and I believe they were about $15. Now you'll pay anywhere from $20 to $22 but I usually watch for the sales. Once they get back into the teens I go ahead and snag a couple others. Very good gift for Christmas time and birthdays unless of course you have one of those people who would kill you if you gave them something like this for Christmas or birthday. Anyway, I love it. We have a few of them. We believe in backups to backups to backups on everything. So that's my tip for the day. Hope it helps and I hope you'll practice with it before you expect to use it in an emergency. This is Kelleen Bishop, the Preparedness Pro. Join us at preparednesspro.com for lots more tips and articles on helping you to live a self-sufficient lifestyle.